Hi, this is Jack Croing, and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to create a photo album using um, uh, PowerPoint. The first thing you'll want to do is uh, open PowerPoint. I've got PowerPoint open right here. And if you click on the Insert tab and then click on Photo Album and New Photo Album, uh, you'll be given a, uh, a new window that you need to fill in. Now, the first thing you want to do is tell it what photos that you want to use for your photo album. So you know, if you click on File, Disk, it'll open up to the picture, your Pictures folder. If you've got some pictures in there that you'd like to use, uh, I would suggest that you use that. So I'm going to navigate here to a, a folder here that um, uh, from 2016 where I've got some photos now. Uh, I took my grandson to the fair the other day, the uh, Dark County Fair, and what I'm going to do is uh, get some of those photos. So there I, cl I clicked on a photo and it inserted. I'm going to go back and do it again. If I click on one photo, hold my shift key down, and now it's, what it's going to do is it's going to insert those photos. So now I've got 28 photos, and you can look at those. And for some reason my photos are upside down here, but I'm not too concerned about that because I know they'll appear right side up when I uh, go to uh, the, when I actually do the insertion. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to tell it um, um, down here how I want to lay these things out on a slide. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to put four pictures on a slide. I want to put a little black frame around it. So I'm going to put a simple frame black. And also I want to tell it what kind of theme for PowerPoint to use. So I'm going to click Browse. and there are a number of themes here that I can use. Okay, um, I usually pick one with a darker background on it uh, because if the pictures stand out a little bit more. So we'll pick that. And then once you've got those things selected, okay, you're ready to create the, the photo album. So I clicked on the Create button and it's sitting there and it's creating the photo album now. So we'll wait just a second here. Okay. Now, one of the things you might want to do on your your first slide here is kind of tell what it's about. I'm going to put my name here, and we'll just uh, put uh, the Dark County Fair <coughs> photo album, and then maybe put a date on it down here. August uh, um, 22nd, 2016. Okay, so we got kind of identified what the video is all about. And you can see that you've got four pictures per, per slide. And if you want to add captions to that, just click on the insert button, click on shapes, and then click on the, you know, any one of those. Maybe I should go back to that again. If you look at this, there's any number of different graphic shapes that you can use. I chose this rounded rectangle here, okay? And what I'm going to do is put a caption up here. Let's try that again. Uh, just say, looking at the animals. And if I want to move that around, I, if I click on it and grab the edge of it, I can move it anywhere I want. Okay. If I'd like to change the size of the text, I can come here to the Home tab, click on the up arrow here several times, and then I'll have to make my box bigger because my text doesn't fit in it anymore. But you do that by grabbing one of these little drag handles here on the corner. So I'm going to go back here, and the other thing we want to do is we want to set this up for slide transitions so that that you can actually play it without having to click through the slides. You don't have to do that, but it just is an added feature that you can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and hold my control key down and press the letter A. So I selected all the slides. And then I'm going to click on transitions and we'll click on this shape transition. So it'll apply that transition to all the slides. The other thing I want to do is over here, I want to take it off a mouse click 
and I want each slide to rotate about every six seconds. That gives somebody enough time to look at, at the photos. Okay, so now I'm going to just play it to see what it looks like here. And you'll see after about six seconds, those, it'll advance to the next slide um, using that shape transition. So there you have it. Uh, I showed you, you know, how to insert the slides into the photo album, how to add a text box, uh, how to do the transitions. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this. So I'm going to do a file, save as. Now I'm going to use this browse button right here and what I'd like to do is I'd like to save that in a pictures folder and I'm going to put it back in that folder that I got the pictures from and that was that um, uh, I've actually got it labeled Butler County Fair it's actually the Dark County Fair so I'm going to put it in that folder and I'm just going to leave it called Dark County Fair photo album I'll just hit save so now I've got it saved so give it a try as you go through this video uh, you can stop it by hitting the pause button on the the video so that you can work on it and go back and forth to to, uh, uh, to create your photo album good luck